All right, you guys, so this is day two of SEMA. So I'm gonna dedicate this whole vlog around just the tread pass. It's probably one of my favorite parts of SEMA. It's a lot of cool stuff in here, so let's go check it out. Let's go. All right, so every year the tread pass has these limited pins that they give out. This year, this is the list of the 10. All right, so we're gonna first start off with the GR Corolla. This is pretty sick. Looks like Tom's is very uh, popular this year. There's not much going on with the Kia Corolla. It was a, it was all hyped up, and uh, people were really excited about it. And all of a sudden now it's just not, uh, not as popular. It just, I don't know. It seems like the hype died down, but it's a very unique, very nice car. I think just not enough out there right now at the moment, and uh, not enough. I guess aftermarket support and that's probably why it's not as popular as the FL5. If you guys agree with me, let me know in the comments. All right, next up we got the uh, Subaru GC8. A lot of nice decos and livery on it. Nice scheme. Tom's beautiful advance. Love the sparkles. And then we got the M4 with arrow works on it. Green is like the color. This is the second or second or third one we've seen in green. Again, love the steering wheel. I love it. Look at the carbon seats. Recaro is a big hitter too when it comes to seats. A lot of love for those. Look at the ship now. Manual conversion. <laughs> we got some Lumar love right there, Formula One. Shout out to Lumar. Stay driven. Look at all that carbon work. This is a nice one. We got a little G-Wagon two-door convertible. all the way from British Columbia. Shout out to the Canadian boys. Yeah. Electric motor. Well, uh, Some updated seats. All right, so we're gonna get to the good stuff. This is the actual Toyota Tread Pass itself. I'm seeing this online. Looks pretty awesome. This thing is tiny. Love it. This is nice. I would rock this.
this one's okay. Not uh, not one of my favorites. This one, again, it's okay. I just don't like the uh, fitment here. I'm not sure why it's cut off right here. And uh, I'm not sure why it didn't go all the way to the end here. But I get it, I get it. Okay, next up is a chaser. I think it's a chaser. Beautiful work. Top shelf, rare parts. I don't know if you can see that. It's right there. Look like a snakeskin kind of. I don't know if it's a wrap or uh, probably not. Very unique. Work wheels. Chaser. We got a pack house today. After I've seen you fans shave the engine bay, I'm actually a pretty big fan of it. Looks actually really nice. Even get a better picture of this one. I like these mirrors. All right, you guys. So if you guys are a big fan of the NSX, I have a yellow one. Hopefully, we can do a vlog on it in the future, and this possibly in the summertime, if uh, Big G allows us to uh, take it out, it's more part of his personal collection. So if we can get it, a hold of it, I'll do a review on it. It's it's mint. It's yellow. Very very limited. Yeah, I'm excited to bring that vlog to you guys if it happens. All right, up next, you guys, we've got this beautiful Supra. Apparently a lot of money was poured into this and uh, it looks amazing, it looks phenomenal. Kind of wonder what kind of horsepower this thing has. Love these wheels. I really want a set for the uh, FL5, but unfortunately it does not fit because it needs to be a wide body. And I don't know if that's the road I want to go. Yeah, these are very, very deep. 
Look at that dishes. I like it. I like it a lot. Always have been a big fan of the MK4. All right, let's check out this thing. This is pretty cool. No, go ahead. Go. Very, very cool. Not really sure what it is, but I like it. Turn it down a little bit for you guys. It's too dark. There we go. That's the thing about outside. It's hard to adjust on the sun. Sometimes it's just a little too washed out. Can't catch all the details, but I'll try my best, you guys. All right, here's another one that I was really excited to see. We gotta turn it down a little bit here. This is exciting, huh? Hoping to meet him in person. Uh, I met him a few years back, but I'd like to meet him in uh, uh, Tokyo if we have another trip out there. This is awesome. Love this one. Woo, right in there. Look at that, eh, guys? Yeah, brake booster. I think that's what it's called. Love the scheme. We got the Liberty Walk. This is new. It's okay. I'm not a. I guess I'm not a huge fan of uh, McLaren, but it's okay. It looks nice. This is nice here. I like the silhouette. Slant nose. Of rims. All right, so we're gonna work our way to the obviously right hand side. It was our, yeah, right hand side. Old school Porsche. Got the carbon Kevlar look. This thing probably puts down a lot of power. Oh, it's a Honda. <laughs> Honda motor. I like it, I like it. Okay, moving on. We've got a BMW wagon. Too bad they didn't pop the hood. You can actually see what's underneath it. So like, wow. mm -hmm. This is all for our BMW fans. Let's see what's on the back end. Drift car, I think? Yeah, drift car.
Just totally gut it out. You got the anti-gravity battery. You can see the drive shafts. Well, I guess you can see the drive shaft here. Look at that, eh? Just totally gutted. Anything you like? Supra, Liberty Walk, McLaren. Very nice, eh? Yeah. Yeah. We got a good old Ferrari. Since we're on the Ferrari theme, we gotta check this one out. Got the Tiffany and Company theme going on. That is so cool. Who owns it? Who's car is it? Who thought of it? Attention to detail is phenomenal. Right down to the stitching. I'm not even sure what this is, but I, I dig it. Look at the massive wing on this. Oh, it's a BMW? Well, it was a BMW. Sorry, some? I got that one out. Yes, yeah, oh, so is this equal with them? Yes, <gasps> Yo. <laughs> We're almost done. T37s. They're very cleanly built. I like it. Last but not least, this is the last one of the day. Volkswagen Golf, or well, started as a Golf. Massive turbo.
What's your favorite? What's my favorite? Uh, I don't actually know what it's called. Uh, I think it's a chaser. Yeah, it is a chaser. chaser. You're right. You're that right. One. I like that one. You're yeah, starting it's to clean But I like the two Liberty walks at the end too. Yeah. The, uh, the RX-7. RX-7. RX-7, yeah. That nice Sil too. The silhouette. Yeah, that one's nice. I too. think that's why they call it. Well, let's go back over there and just take uh, a look. No, the Mercedes Evo. The Mercedes Evo? Yeah, the Mercedes Evo. <laughs> yeah. Expensive car. Yeah. What is your yeah, favorite? It wasn't, it wasn't probably My favorite would be, uh, hands down, it would be the Supra. The Supra? The Supra I like, or the little K car, uh, the K truck. I was going to say that too. That was the nice. little K truck. I didn't think the Supra was that great. Yeah. It was a lot of money poured into it. I heard it was 180 grand US poured into that. I would, yeah. I would believe it. Yeah. You, what's your favorite car? Liberty Walk McLaren or the Supra, honestly. The Supra? Supra. Supra's my favorite out of all of them. <laughs> yeah. You know what, actually, you know, hands down, I think the little, the little K truck. That one has character. The K, K truck for me. It has character. Okay. All right, guys, so well, that's it for the uh, Tread Pass uh, vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A lot of, I think the builds was not as great as last year, but it's, it was still good, but not, not as good. But uh, leave a comment below which one is your guys' favorite car. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys tomorrow.